What an absurd excuse, as if through the generations, through 200 years, there was some psychological time bomb passed down through eight generations that finally manifested itself because of some injustice 200 years ago, Kale Leonard Gabriel had no choice. It was predetermined. He was going to kill another black man, Ryan Matthew White. I don't know if Gabriel's great, great, great grandfather was a slave. I have no idea. And I bet that Gabriel himself has no idea either. But Gabriel is not a slave, and Ryan White wasn't a slave owner. This is racism, not justice. It shows that liberals really don't mean it when they talk about getting tough on crime, or at least gun crime. It shows that sociology and history these days, and much of law, is just politics by another name, practiced by $500 an hour political activists posing as lawyers. It's the soft bigotry of low expectations, as if Gabriel is not an adult, not responsible for himself, as if he couldn't help himself, as if he's culturally or even genetically predisposed to crime because of something that allegedly happened to his ancestors 200 years ago. If that's not racism, if that's the law, not saying that minorities are less or lower than other folks, I don't know what is. But mainly, it's punishing others in the black community. It's treating black victims of black crime as second class. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.